Business Studies Department. My name is David Lovett and today I'm here to show you a little bit about how I'm using the iPad in my everyday teaching. First thing with the iPad is it's very, very portable. Uh, so that means that I can just be walking into work with it or even taking it on my own holidays or student activities or any sort of area outside of the building. And that allows me to film things that are of interest. So I'm going to show you now one little video that I made whilst travelling around in Istanbul on um, primary and secondary and tertiary uh, methods of production. So let me show you a little bit of a video that's simply used for batch production in my teaching of GCSE Business Studies. So here we can go into photos and I'll come to the actual video so I can just scroll up to where to find the video and it's just there. And this was a, whilst walking around Istanbul, I came across this shop where they're actually making shoes in a match production method. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll bring out the iPad, quickly film it, and then I can bring it into my classroom with any key stage four, whether uh, GCSE business studies or vocational business studies. So let me just show you a little bit of the video. Here we can see a gentleman in Istanbul sewing shoes, and he's inside his little factory. Okay, so it allows us to bring things that we just witness in and outside of society into the classroom to make our teaching relevant and alive for our students. So, that's the first thing, it's a little video. Secondly, what I want to show you is equally something the iPad immediately allows us to use, which is music. And we can choose a specific piece of music, so here we can tap in our little songs and if you listen to this, we've now got music in our classroom with wide choice. And indeed, the students can actually then just simply say, oh, I want this piece of music. So I often play a little bit of classical music at the start of the lesson to welcome the students in, to really set the nice, calm tone that I want to have at the start of the lesson. It's good use of behaviour management here. So let's turn that down for a bit. Another way in which I'm using the iPad every day is simply our wonderful YouTube. Again, before a class or during a class, even if something comes to mind, I can think, do you know what? I'd really like to show them a video that I've made or something indeed from YouTube. And I've actually set up my own YouTube account so I could show various things of, um, for PSHE, for example, during teaching, I can show them a little video I've made, um, again, out on my travels, if I remember rightly, this one is in Chigaswara, which is actually in Romania, and it just shows the lives of people and a Pacific music festival. This one is um, set in medieval town of Chigaswara in Romania. So personal videos, it's easy to use, but obviously being YouTube, I can quite easily go in and search any piece of video I actually choose to. So. Simply anything that's on YouTube, I again can bring that very quickly into the classroom, on the big screen, or on my little iPad to show around. So thank you very much for watching. In a few moments, I'm going to show you a video of how I'm using the Dragon Dictation service as well.